All right, here we go. On the right hand side, we have a score called 3D Piano Kit that sounds like this. On the left hand side, we have an export WAV file that sounds like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Vision and Sound, Part 16, Pattern, Illusion, Priorities, Plans. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting on the question one of our chat asked us, what are you composing this for, which has been catching our attention. So the meme we came up with is feedback informs the flow. So the, the short answer is, in the current music, we're looking for patterns that sound cool, coming from evolved memories, and they're coming from external themes. So there's two things. We have memories of music, but as we remember them, they're not the same as they actually played. And we tested that because the float series piece, which we've been playing, um, was inspired by Shift Borderland 1. However, when we went back and listened to Shift Borderland 1, in no area was float, did it sound like float exactly. It sounded like bits and pieces smushed together. So uh, each time we call on memories, we further etch their graven lines. In doing so, we both abrade, wear them out, and build up new stuff. And these become our current stories about who we are. So that was an inspiration. And the other thing is we just finished a book called Isolate by L.E. Modisset, one of our favorite authors. And the meme of this one is politics are a necessary illusion. So we ended up taking the float piece and making variations on it, and then we christened them illusion. But that's not all we did. As we were just showing you here, we made a thing called a dyad piano kit. And the cool thing about this is we were going to use this for our 3D and music exhibit. So what you just heard was the first row, which was C played in um, unison with itself. Because this is the bottom note. And it plays with that. So if we unmute this one, this is what we're going to hear. And that's the one interval dyad. And the beauty of this is that we made it click playable in the exhibit. Uh, we could kind of mimic what it m means to be click playable if we, uh, let's see, that would be interval three and seven here. So in the 3D world, if we click that one and that one and click that one, all together, you would hear this chord. And then if you were dorking around with it some more and decided to play interval four, you would hear this. So it's basic minor major chords, but we wanted to make it so that you could click play it. What do we mean by click play? This is what we mean by click play. This is our 3D music exhibit that we've been showing you guys on and off for several chapters. And what we did is we took the zero, zero interval. And if you click this blue square or this blue zero, you're going to hear that bum, 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 bum. But if you, if you click, for example, the 11, which is the T, the orange, you'd hear this. And the, the cool thing about it is that, um, like we just showed you, playing them together at the same time, uh, which is much more awkward to do here in our, in our score program than it is just to click on stuff. But let's say we wanted to play, what do we play, the number 11? which is the next to the last one. And let's, and let's play the seven. Okay, so 
if we played uh, number 11. Hopefully we picked these out right. Oh, wait, this one, right? What did we pick? That was 12. Oh, no, we always need that one. It was this one we needed. Okay, here, try it again. There you go. So, like we said, it's much easier to just click on them here because once you click it, it'll start playing and you can immediately click the next one. So he turned this into an interactive intervals uh, placard display. So we're real tickled about that. Two notes make an interval. There are 13, each with a dis its own feeling. Try them. The other thing we did is we uh, we added some more color over here to, to those to make it more encouraging to click. This is what the exhibit now looks like, um, which is pretty much what it looked like in the first place. The only thing we added is this pillar down there, this thing, which uh, that is a, if you click that piano looking rectangle, it will give you your own 3D piano. And then this is our exhibit title. And then the other thing we did is we updated our uh, pod text. So this is the teaser. Sound inside. Colored objects are click playable. Step inside to hear them. Create your own sidearms 3D and music interactive orchestra kits. So that is today this opens. So this is now open to the public as part of the big exposition, which has about a couple hundred exhibits. So you should check that out. How do I check that out? Well, go to my blog. Um, go to my blog. Sidearm. Sidearm. Here it is right here. This one. And if you go there and you click that link, it'll open up a, a way to, to get into the 3D app, which we're not allowed to do on Twitch. But we also verified that that where that little hand is, that's exactly where our exhibit is. So we did all that. So that part's done. Moving on to the music composition series. Um, a couple ahas there. Um, like we said, we've been working on, because we've been starting new music, uh, the question of what inspires us came up. You know, we said we're looking for patterns and sound cool, but so what? What do you now you have some patterns and sound cool? What are you going to do with them? We'll put them into something. So we have the idea of float, which is where um, float is from our very first composition, this one, where there are four possible tonalities. And we like how this sounds a lot. And we'll play it for you again. Da, 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 da. Um, and then we got enthralled by the pattern of it. So there's one pattern, which was, you know, there's a chord progression like this. Now, this led us, this became renamed to Illusion because the chord progressions are completely different than these. We were just running with the idea of float, and we said, we had another set of chord progressions, why don't we do that? So this led us to the cool new idea of score DNA, score DNA. We've always said that, that, a, that a scale has DNA. We're going to highlight this with a nice color here. A scale has a, has has a, the intervals of a scale are its DNA. Any one scale has a unique set of 
numbers. If it's a seven note scale, it has seven numbers. If it's a five note scale, it has five numbers, etc. And if they're the same numbers in the same series, even if they wrap around on the end, like one, two, two, five, six, could be the same as five, six, one, two, two. But the minute you re reverse them, you've got a you've got a mirror scale. But then we realized that we could st that when we call these version numbers, the version number is actually is actually the score DNA. Where did the score come from? This came from key step testing scale 14. It's four finger arpeggios and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that's kind of, that was a new aha for us that uh, is going to help inform our work going forward as these streams usually do. So that was illusion one. But then again, we wanted to kind of bush them together. So the thing about float one is it has a two bar phrase. It has an arpeggio. And then we added a new note. And that means this chord changed. This chord was a, uh, this was a C21 and it turned into an A flat 4 3. C2 1, A flat 4 3. This is a B 1 2, and that turned into a G 4 3. So, but the difference is instead of playing this as a chord, we played as an arpeggio. Do, 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 da. So we like that pattern. So we said, well, what if we take the chord? We know what these chords are A flat 3 4, F 3 3. So again, scale DNA. So now, now, we're putting those original chords here, but we changed one note to get into it. So we made a new chord here. So the original chord was here, and the new chord is here. And then similarly, in a reverse pattern, we took the original chord, which was this, and then picked a new note and got that. Again, we're looking for new patterns that sound cool. So what we're going to do to bring us home is play uh, these two variations, uh, Illusion 2, and we're playing them fast because uh, we can't stand to go out, do, 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 do. We need, we need to hear it fast because we're looking for how would these go together because once we get these little, pe they're like Lego bricks, and then you take the Lego bricks and get a red brick and a two, two brick and a five brick and a four brick and a blue one, whatever. Put, a, put them together. So here's here's illusion two. Okay. And this is illusion three, which is in a different order and a different mechanism to generate the two chords. Here we go. Here we could start to hear sequencing. So that concludes today's uh, stream. What we like about what we're doing is we're we're doing what we call methodic innovation, and uh, otherwise known as looking for patterns that sound cool. And we're tracking what we're doing. Each one of these is being tracked. So if we go back, we can find well, how did you pick an F? Because there were only four possible notes to put in the second bar that didn't already exist in the first bar and then we picked out one by ear just by sound and then once we did that we, we followed a rule of thumb for how to generate the new chord so if it sounded cool we could try that pattern again if it sounded and some of the parts do sound cool so we kind of know how to go back and do that just like if you wrote a recipe for how to cook a good meatloaf or your favorite food so our ideas for next time are
uh, keep working with these compositions. For example, we have an idea of how to put two and three together into a four. And uh, we've been extending the publicity on our 3D and music exhibit. You saw the pod text and things. We'd like to shoot footage for it. Shout outs to Mr. Spatz, Silent Lurker, Starry Share. Thank you, Starry. First time visitor and informed illusion. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.